BA here and I've got a big surprise. I'm so excited to show you. Um, I've just invented my dry herb resin burners. I have solved two of my biggest problems and I'm so excited to share it with you. So these are my resin burners, uh, dry herb burners too. Um, these are the nice ones. I've got real pretty ones up here. I've just made. They're up on my website. They're for sale. But um, the one that I'm going to be showing you on, that's hot because it's burning, um, is this nice crappy tester one. So don't judge me for this. This is the one that I have basically tested everything in it because I don't want to sell you anything that's not going to work. So um, yeah, lots of testing has gone through with this, but as you can tell, the top of it is a little gnarly. I don't want you, none of yours are going to be like that. Um, when you buy them, they're just going to be really lovely. These are glazed. Some of them are not glazed. Um, you know, it's just your preference. But I think all of the ones that are up on the website now are glazed. I took all my little tester ones and uh, I gave them to friends. If you want to get on that friend list, <clears throat> make sure you join my newsletter because I share all my newest, newest testing things with those people if they're interested in, in testing them out and giving me their feedback. So, newsletter, join it or not. So, let's get started. Charcoal briquettes, they burn your resin. They're messy. They're so messy. Black hands, when you try and burn them, they throw sparks everywhere. When you light them, you're like, Did I, is it lit? Is it burning? I don't know. Incense sticks, they smoke. They smoke a lot. Like I will get smoked out of a room when I'm burning them. It's incredible. And when you're trying to meditate, there's nothing worse than trying to meditate and coughing a lung up, right? Am I right? You know I'm right. And they're messy. You get ash everywhere. I mean, I don't care who you are. You put that, that incense stick on that thing, the wind is gonna blow. Your dog's gonna go by. Your, ta your cat's tail is gonna go by. You'll have ash everywhere. I am sick to death of cleaning up ash. So I thought to myself, there's got to be a better way. So I put my little head to work and I came up with these little burners. You say goodbye to messy charcoal and incense sticks. I'll tell you how. The power of a tea light, some dry herb, and a lighter. And my little dry herb resin incense burners. Again, this one I have used extensively for testing, so don't grade me on that. Um, each burner comes with a tea light and a package of dry herbs. We just dump that in there. Each package comes with about, um, I'd say, one to two burnings. You don't need a whole lot. It just depends on how strong you like your scent in your house. But you take your tea light and you carefully light it. Remember, fire is dangerous. Be careful. And there's a little slide slot in there, and you just slide it in there, and that's it. Already, I can smell that awesome uh, combination of sandalwood and lavender. It smells so great. And look, there's no smoke f filling the room. It's just, it's emitting this really wonderful scent. I wish you could smell it, but, you know, it's video. These will burn hot enough to burn Palo Santo, which a lot of my little um, packages have. They've got the Palo Santo, and this one has, uh, oh my gosh, what is it? Sandalwood. So sandalwood, Palo Santo. It'll burn hot enough for copal, uh, like a pine sap. It'll burn frankincense, myrrh. I've, I've burned all of these in here, and this will burn hot enough to burn those and release the scent. Although, it, like I said, it will not smoke you out in the room. So uh, I'm loving that. Look, no messy hands. The burners uh, will allow you to burn, but you can touch the bottom. So if you want to move them around, you can. Do not touch up here. That's a very hot part. 
Each of them, I'll show you on this one because it is getting hot. Um, each of them have, where's my holes? Have, have holes for the heat to escape. So you don't want to touch them at the top, but you can touch them at the bottom. These are all up on my website. They come with your first two um, dry herb burnings and a tea light. So they're ready to go the minute you get them. So I'm really super excited about these little incense burners. So much so that I went out and I have been harvesting the herbs in my yard. And um, I've been purchasing some because I, of course, cannot grow the Palo Santo. But I've put together these little curiosity samples. You can buy them on my website for $1.50. That includes the shipping. But, uh, you know, if you don't know really what you want to burn, you can always just purchase some of those and fulfill your curiosity. I will say I have burned just about everything in this pot and it smells so wonderful. Um, you know, rosemary, bay leaf, uh, just everything, anything, lavender, um, just, and I encourage you to do that. Just get kind of wild and try all the scents that you can. If you're growing stuff in your yard, dry it out, burn it in your house. It smells awesome. It's not overpowering like Febreze. Um, it just leaves a, a nice light little scent in the air. You can work all day in the room with it. Doesn't leave a big smoke. And as I've just showed you, there is absolutely no mess. So uh, I hope you love these. They're reasonably priced at $29. Um, I will probably go up in that as time goes on. But just to get them out and move in and have people you know, let me know what they think about them. I'm excited. I love them. I burn them every day in my house. Um, again, I'm always trying out new herbs and everything in it. So, uh, every day is an experiment here. So I'll tell you right now, these will not burn wax melts. The wax melts are too big and they burn way too hot for wax melts. They will just bubble and you will have messes everywhere. I've tried burning oils. You know, you put a little bit of oil in there. You put a little bit of water in there. It does work, but I'll tell you that the burners burn so hot that you will have to be filling it up with water constantly. It'll drive you crazy and you won't dig it. I have noticed that you can put um, the oils just on the burner and it kind of burns like an incense. It's nice and it smells for quite a long while, especially um, when you're working with the, the, the ones that aren't glazed on top, it really is great because the, um, the clay absorbs the oil and it just burns and it smells real mellow. So if you're going to use them, if you're going to use your oils, I would say use that. I just wish you could smell that lavender with the sandalwood. It's so nice without being incredibly overpowering. Um, I am really excited about these. I hope you go out to my website to purchase them and check them out. Um, I also have these killer, the new, another new thing that's just out is my crystal mugs where I've made mugs and I've put actual genuine crystal and stones in there. So um, I'll be doing a video on that too. Oh, actually the video's out. I did that first. <laughs> I know, sorry. It's been a crazy week. Um, but that's the end of this video. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Uh, share the love. And I mean, really, y'all could be doing me a huge favor by sharing this video. I would love that. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace, love, and rocks.